Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to discuss about Python casting. So there may be times when you want to specify a type on the variable uh, because you want to perform certain actions which only gets performed when you have certain type of uh, variable. For example, you want to add two integers or you want to add two floats and you want to get the uh, get the results in floats. But uh, one, of, one of your uh, input is in integer and the other one is in floats so it might not work hence you want to make sure whatever variables you define you have the correct type of data right so how do we do that for example uh, you want to add two integers or you want to have only two integers in a certain variable so how do you do that first of all for integers we construct the entry integers with the help of int and the parentheses so let me give you an example let's say we have a variable called um, a and we assign the value of 2 right how do we make sure that it is only integer and nothing else we construct it by typing int having open bracket and adding 2 into it and then close the bracket that's it now we made sure that 2 is just the integer and not any string or any float. Let us go ahead and print it. So as you can see, it's just 2. What if we have 2.125? Now let's see. Still, it gives you a result of 2. Why? Because we have constructed this number as integer. Okay? Now let's take the example of another one which is float how do we construct float for any any given variable so this time let's take the variable as b and here we are going to write float open and close brackets and then let's give any number so as you know float has a decimal right so in this case we are not going to give any decimal we are just going to write a number example 5 and let's see what it gives us the output as uh, let's print it as well print b and before i go ahead and print b let me comment out print a and let's go ahead and print b now and also let me clear the console for you guys so that you can see it over here okay so as you can see the result is in float right what we are given over here is just a number just the integer but it has converted it into a float what if, what if it's already a float right let's see what happens then again it gets converted into float itself and it gives you the output in float so this is how it works now let's say we do not want to have them in integers or floats, we want to have them as a string and not, not a number. Let's see how would that work. For that, let me first comment out the print of B and this time let's take a variable of C and then just type this class str open and close bracket and in between I'm going to write a number so I'm going to write a number 12 and let's see what it what it is right now. Let's print it and let's go ahead and see. Oh, sorry, I've printed B over here. We need to print C. So I've corrected the variable name and I've printed it again. As you can see, it's just number 12. Um, but here you wouldn't know if it's a string or uh, integer, right? So in that case, let's go ahead and use some function from within Python, which shows you the type of uh, type of variable it is. So instead of just C, we are going to type type of C, and let's see what it shows. So as you can see, it prints you a number 12, but it is a string. And how do you know that? 
it shows you with the help of this particular function type that this the class of this particular variable is str which is string so this is how um, this is how python casting works guys if you want to change any variable or any number at any given point of time you can change it with the help of type python casting and uh, and you can convert it into any any of the desirable uh, type and you can perform any functions on it for example let's say uh, we already have an integer as 2.125 but it's not an integer it's already number two but we want to convert it into float before we go ahead and perform any actions all you have to do is let's say we define a new variable right d and we want to convert a variable a into float so how do you do that again you just write float and variable name and let's see what what it gives us let me comment out this one and print this print d let's see what it gives us so as you can see this this particular variable a is converted into float and this gives you an output of 2.0 so this is how it works but can you convert any string into any any numbers like into a float let's see that as well let me remove this float and this time we want to convert c okay which is a string so we write float c and then let's go ahead and print c okay but how would you know, how we know that if it's a string type or it's a number type let's go ahead and see this by checking the type of the variable so if you see i have mentioned the name of the variable as d and now let's go ahead and print as you can see it has been converted into float and now you can use it as a float instead of string got it now let's see uh, what if what happens if i have actual string over here instead of number will it work let's go ahead and check that so instead of 12 i'm going to type my string okay can this be converted into float i guess not but let's go ahead and check the check the error she has you can see it cannot be converted could not convert strings to float okay strings could not be converted into floats unless they are an actual number okay you need to have an actual number over here for example this one can we convert this yes we can convert this but can we convert abc no we cannot right so this is how python custom works and this is the limitation to it you cannot just write 12 over here or one over here and then expect it to convert into number no you cannot okay you can convert int to float floats to string and strings back to float or int but only when they have numbers so that's it guys if you like this video and if you're following this uh, this particular series of learning python then do let me know in the comment section below and also subscribe the channel for more videos like this because I, because i'm going to post everything related to python over here we are going to have the entire course over here so thank you so much and see you later in the next video